Hello friends and welcome to the first video of 2022. It's another new year, so that means it is time to talk about the books we read last year. So today I'm gonna share with you guys my five favorite books and my three most disappointing books of the last year. So let's just hop into it. The first book that made my favorites list this year was one that I was kind of surprised by, and that is Daisy Jones and the Six. Right off the bat, this book was really interesting because it's a really unique format. It's in the format of an interviewer who's interviewing a band and their responses. So it's way different than any other books that I've read, which was really fun. There were no super long chapters, so it was a really, really fast read. And on top of that, it was just a really engaging story. There was awesome character development and their relationships that changed and evolved with each other was just really engaging and overall a really interesting and unique read. So the first book that is on my most disappointing list is actually a self-help book and it is The Untethered Soul. You guys, I tried so hard to get into this book for literally like two months. I tried and tried because the reviews of this were so good. People saying that it literally changed their entire life. I was so hopeful and it just, didn't do it for me. For one, I felt like everything in the book was way over explained. Like there would be one paragraph or one page that was a good point, And then the entire chapter would be over explaining it. And I just don't like that. It was boring. And I kept finding myself skipping pages because I was literally reading the same thing over and over again. And on top of that, I felt like none of the points were really like mind blowing or groundbreaking for me. Now this might be different if this was one of your first self-help books ever. It might be really groundbreaking for you, but since I read a lot of self-help books, it was just not anything special. So unfortunately it was a disappointing one for me. The next one on my favorites list is The Ghost Rider. I will say with this book, it was very, very emotional, really raw, deep, and kind of dark. So if you're in a bad place, it might not be the best book for you, but that being said, it was really amazing connection to the characters that was made. And it did start a little bit slow, but picked up really fast. And then it was absolutely a page turner. I could not put it down. I was absolutely hooked on the characters and it was just very emotional. I highly recommend this one. Next on my list of disappointing books is The Family Upstairs. So when I was thinking about making this video and which books I wanted to put on this list and I saw that I read this one, I literally didn't remember it at all. So that kind of was the first sign that it probably was gonna be on the list of the most disappointing books. I had to look up on Goodreads what my review was of it. And once I read my review, I remember that it started pretty well and I was waiting for that big moment or the aha moment where everything comes together and there's this big revolutionary shift in the plot, but it just never came and the book just ended and it was really disappointing. So yeah, that ended up on my disappointing books list for this year. Next on my favorites is Malibu Rising. Now this was a really trendy book, but I ended up picking it up because it's by the same author of Daisy Jones and the Six. And I was not disappointed. It is a completely different format. It's just a traditional chapter book, but that didn't make it any less of a page turner. I read it really, really fast. Again, there was amazing character development and their relationships with each other were just so relatable and you just get completely hooked on them. And it's one of those books where after it was over, I felt like I wanted to check in on the characters and see how they're doing and how they're progressing in life. Yeah, it's just a family story about siblings and their relationship with each other and their story growing up with their family and the family dynamics. And it's just overall a really good read and it was really engaging and it was a good summer read too. So the last one on my disappointing reads list is one that I might get a little bit of backlash on because so many people love this book, but it is Little Fires Everywhere. I decided to pick this one up again because it has such incredible reviews and people speak so highly of this book. But for me, I only really connected to like one or two of the characters. The other ones were just so typical. I feel like they weren't really complex. Their relationships were kind of typical. I felt like the ending was predictable. I totally knew what was gonna happen. And one thing I wrote in my Goodreads review was that the chapters were so long and it kind of like made me hesitate to pick up the book because I didn't wanna commit to that long of a chapter. Especially if I was really tired at night, I just would decide not to read at all because I knew how long the chapter are so just something to keep in mind but yeah this unfortunately was one of my disappointing books even though I was really looking forward to it so my second favorite book of the year is Verity by Colleen Hoover 
This is one that people are starting to read more and more and everyone seems to really enjoy it. And I will say again, it was really creepy. It was dark. So just a little bit of a warning there. If you're in a bad place, it's probably not the best book for you. But that being said, again, it was so captivating. I literally could not put this book down. I read it in like two days. It was just a wild ride of twists and turns that you did not see coming. The characters' relationships with each other were unexpected and it just kept me so hooked. It's about a famous author who gets injured and her husband is caring for her and they hire this other author to write a book series and finish this book series for this author. While the author is living in their house, she finds a manuscript of this injured author's life and all of these secrets start coming out about their life together as husband and wife. And it's just crazy, all these things that you are not expecting while she's living in the house with them. And it's just like, ah, it's crazy. It was so, so captivating. One of my favorite books that I've read for sure. And then my number one favorite book of 2021, was The Good Lie. My favorite genre of book is probably psychological thrillers, and this is literally the most perfect psychological thriller you can imagine. It's about a psychologist who works with people who are really aggressive or with people who are criminals, and so there's a lot of like dark stories that are kind of thrown in throughout, and there's a little bit of romance thrown in, there's mystery thrown in. I personally am obsessed with psychology and all things related to that. So I was instantly really interested in this book and it hooked me from page one. It was the definition of a page turner. I loved every second of it. So if you're into psychological thrillers, this is literally the perfect book for you. So highly, highly, highly recommend. So that is it, you guys. Those are my five favorite books of 2021 and my three most disappointing books of the year. I love talking about books. So if you read any of those and you agree or disagree or whatever, let me know in the comments below because I wanna talk about it. And also, if you have recommendations based on these books that you think I would like for this year, definitely let me know those too because I'm always looking for good reads. I'm currently reading all of the Harry Potter series, which I have never read before. So that's been really fun, but I only have like two and a half books left. So I gotta get some more recommendations coming in. So let me know for sure. And yeah, I think that is gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys had an awesome new year and are excited for the year to come. I'm really excited. So if you have seen a few of my videos and are not subscribed yet, make sure you do that so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And with that, I will see you guys very soon. This is